Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's tutorial we'll be making this moving car that is red and has two wheels. I made a series on introduction to creative coding and in today's video we'll be focusing on pixels, current systems, drawing shapes, colors, as well as variables. That's why we can move the car from left to right. How we'll approach this is that we'll be first drawing the shapes color them, and then we'll move the car. So let's get started. First, let's start by drawing the car, right? So we need to use the function car rect, which takes in four arguments. The first two are for the x and y coordinates of the top left corner of the rectangle, and then the third and the fourth are the width and the height of that rectangle. So rect of 80 and 220, and the width and the height of 80 by 60. So we have the body of the car, and then now we can use the ellipse function to draw the two wheels. So the ellipse function takes in four arguments, three or four arguments, depending on if you want to have the width and the height to be the same or not. The first two arguments are the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle. And for the two wheels, there are 80 and 280, and the width and the height are the same at 50 and 50. And the second wheel, the right wheel, is at 160 by 280 at the same width and height of 50 by 50. So now we have the body and the wheels. Let's color them. The body will be colored red, right? And now we need the wheels to be the color black. The reason that everything was red previously was because all the shapes that come after the fill function will be colored that way. But now that we put in this other fill function to have it color black, and that's why the wheels are now colored black. So now that we have the car, we need to move the car, right? But I have actually hard-coded all the X and Y positions of everything here. So it will be very difficult or actually impossible for us to move the car. So what I need to do is that I need to create three variables. And these three variables that I'm going to create is going to call left wheel, right wheel, and body. And I am going to replace these values here, the x values of all of these shapes with the variables. So the left wheel would be 80, right? The right wheel would be 160. And the body would be 80. And if I click play, nothing happens. And nothing happens because why? We haven't done anything yet. We just changed the way that we put in these arguments into the functions. What we need to do next is that we need to increment the variables. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to increment it by one pixel at a time. You can do that by using this expression here. Left wheel equals to left wheel plus one, right? Same goes to the other two. Okay, let's try to run it. And now our car moves from left to right. Let's try again. There you go. I show you how to make a car, but you can make so many different types of objects, right? A rocket that goes from bottom to top, or a shooting star that goes diagonally. You can use the same technique by using a variable to contain a value, and then you can change that value to make things move around the screen. Give it a try.